Today is a very special day here at the Bombay Borough in One Golf Face where we are experiencing 20 years worth of warm, happiness, laughter and most importantly media magnificence. I'm talking about 20 years of the one and only Danu Inasitambe. Timo, hi. Hi, hi. So tell me, how do you know Danu exactly? It's actually a very, very interesting story because when Danu was starting, I was also starting to become a model. So it's almost like we are growing to each other and to the industry together. So it's quite a, a story. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So have you also been in the industry for 20 years now? I wouldn't say 20 years for myself because that will be a shame. I should be retiring. <laughs> he is actually from the scratch. I think uh, media perspective is 20 years. Where else me, I've been behind the camera. So I can't count that. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to pray. <laughs> so why do you think Dano is basically the best in media right now? I think uh, what we always lacked is a person who is uh, very well versed in trilingual skills. I think uh, he has it. I think uh, I'm always a person who always support that trilingual uh, perspective of each and every media. And uh, there should be a person who is a very good representative. I think he's doing a great job there. That's why. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have fun. who is here at the 20 years of celebrating Dano. Can you tell me a little bit about the first time you met Dano? Uh, so I have not been knowing Dano for probably for the last uh, 10 years, I would say, you know. And uh, I'm very happy for Dano actually, you know. Dano worked very hard and he has come to where he is and he has built a great brand and I worked with him a lot. Uh, in fact, I think he had his 50th, uh, 15th uh, anniversary at one of my properties at, at the curve uh, yeah and you know I always thought you know Danu like I said you know has done well for himself and is a great media personality in Sri Lanka so where do you see Danu going next do you have any any uh, well wishes for him yeah, I, I see Danu growing more and getting more innovative and uh, coming up with new stuff because he's always never short of an idea you know I love his infectious laugh and uh, you know, he, he has an audience which uh, always looks at what he does and I'm sure uh, Danu moving forward, uh, he'll come up with something unique, knowing Danu, <laughs> that's it, you know. He'll just make it his own. Yeah, he, he's just Danu, you know, that's it, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's all the expl explanation you need. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I wish him well and uh, he's got a lovely boy, he got a lovely sister and he's the boy from Jaffna, you know, which I think, you know, Coming to Colombo, seeing all this, uh, working on radio, working on TV, uh, private stations. Um, he has maneuvered himself well. And like I said earlier, he has built a great brand and uh, I'm happy for him. And it's a great achievement. And I also think a lot of the youngsters can take a long cue from what he has done, you know. And anyone young, aspiring uh, uh, people who want to be in the media, he's the ideal man to follow. He's the best guy. 
He really is truly inspiring. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Abu. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. All the best to Danu. Thank you. And now I have with me a female powerhouse, the managing director of Chocolat Magazine, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, hi. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here next to me because we have quite the history. Definitely, I'm so happy to be here, and I'm glad to be talking to you. <laughs> Likewise, and speaking of history, what kind of history do you have with Dano? Well, Dano and I go—I mean, we go way back. I think we've known each other for years, and he's always been super supportive of everything that we do. And likewise, we've done a lot of projects together. So I'm so so happy and proud of him where he is now, and I wish him all the very best. Is that all? Anything else you wanna? Do you have any embarrassing stories of Dano that you'd like to share? I do, but maybe another time. <laughs> you can tell me that in secret. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, well, have a lovely time. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now I am with uh, a few personal friends of mine, Shay and Jehan. Lovely to see you today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. All right, so tell me first things first. Shay, you are a close personal friend of Dano. Do you have any embarrassing stories for me? There are too many to sort of recite here, but on uh, another day, I promise I'll recite them all. Yes, yeah. All right. So, do you have anything that you would like to share? Maybe a story about Danu that you are keeping under wraps. Well, Danu auditioned for several of my plays in the past. Uh, we go back like. 20 years, I think, uh, when he first first in uh, media, uh, and I, well, he he didn't end up on stage in my plays, but he did support all my projects, and uh, we had one very interesting uh, um, interview uh, in 2006 where a bunch of fairies came on stage, and, <laughs> and uh, he wasn't one of them, but I think he I think he wanted to dress up as one of the fairies and you know be the biggest fairy out there, but he's been fantastic, and I really wish him well, and uh, it's lovely to be here with Jay. <laughs> okay, so before I let you go, quick question: Do you have anything you want to share for Dano? Something you want to say? A message, maybe? Absolutely. Um, I've known him practically all my life. Uh, we knew each other, and we bumped into each other at a party when we were like 13 or 14, and we've been friends ever since. Um, I love him to death. He's like my brother uh, because I I don't have brothers. I have sisters. So he's family, and I'm very proud of him and the journey that he has been on and continues to uh, go on this journey. And um, all the very best to him, and I love you very much, and I'm so proud of you. I hope she says the same things about me later on. But all the best, Danu. Here's to another 20, another 40. All yeah. the best. Uh -huh. He said 50. We'll oh. see him in the next. 50. Okay, 50 plus plus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Bubbly as always. Thank you. So tell me, how do you feel right now? Ah, uh, well, I feel really good. Uh, I'm not that old. I need to sort of say that. I started when I was 16, so you can do the math. Uh, but I'm grateful. That's what I am. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that you've been here for 20 years and you still continue to inspire people and grow. Hey, you are kind. Thanks. <laughs> well, I'm grateful. I, uh, I, I do not take this job. Lightly, I still believe that you know we have to deliver a hundred percent and be who you are and and let it flow as it comes. Yeah. For sure. So now I have a question for you. This is kind of like a personal question, but it applies to anyone who is watching at home as well. As someone who's starting out in media, do you have any advice for someone who is looking to grow and to become a personality like yourself? Very simple. Be yourself. If somebody sees you, like I have the ugliest laugh. But I believe in just being that because if I try to modernize it, it's going to be fake, and I can never be myself. And I'll always have that self-consciously bothering me. So be yourself and be real. As long as you're real, you'll always portray that. You know, that's all it takes. So when somebody meets you in person or screen or radio or anywhere, they have to still identify you as that person. Yeah. 
Yeah, very true, very true. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic 20 years. And I hope to see you at the 30th one as well. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. If I'm around, yeah, for sure. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you.